since I grew up in Rainier Beach and I rode the number seven bus my whole life. I like to say I learned about life riding the number seven. It's such a long route and it traverses so many diverse neighborhoods. It's a little sampling of the world if you ride the number seven. Rainier Valley has changed a lot, so I'd like to preserve a little bit of that history. The Columbia Hillman Arts and Culture District they started putting the word out that they had these small grants. So I decided to apply for one of the grants and that's how it came about. I've always made art and I started doing it uh, professionally about 10 years ago when I found printmaking. I love that the printmaking process is so involved and it's so uh, meticulous. Printmaking is really deep. There's so many different methods of printmaking. There's dozens of different processes and you can combine them. So I feel like I found my home there. And the colors work. About 20 years ago, I told my husband, I need to write a short story called Writing the Number Seven. I never wrote that short story, but I um, did a series of collagraphs, which is a kind of printmaking of the number seven. Uh, I started that about five or six years ago. And um, this is the way I've expressed uh, my story of writing the number seven. I set an intention in 2021 to work bigger, but I wasn't thinking I'd work this big so fast. <laughs> To be really honest, I learned that I still, at my age, like to bite off a little more than I probably should. Another artist said, you should put people on the bus. And then I started thinking about it. I thought that would be cool to put people on the bus. Shea Cherie, I knew that her portraits really captured people in a unique way. Every time I pick up the brush after the first few minutes, something else takes over. I stop thinking and get into that zone. And it does feel like that if when you're a passenger on a bus, you just uh, get into a, your own headspace. My part in this mural was to paint the portraits. The amazing thing was to learn about all these people. My dad is the last person on the bus and my aunt is the first person on the bus. The driver is Leah, and she drove the number seven for years. The family standing in front of the bus are uh, Susie, Lou, and Mondo Bancaro. They've lived and worked in this community for several generations. And Susie is really special to me because she was my second grade teacher, and we did a lot of art in second grade. And then everyone else, I would call them heroes on the bus because they're all people who were so involved in making our community a better place. So many of the people here really kind of moved the ball forward in our community. Each of them has done a lot. It's so funny that I just finished painting this and now I'm cutting it. It's a little nerve wracking. But if we get through it, the theory is that it should come apart without, without any problems. So we'll see how it goes. He knows what he's doing. If it was just me, I'd be terrified. Here it goes. There we go. Sweet. Ha! Way to go. We got plenty of room. Part of the arts revitalization project was to like bring some life to spaces that needed some life and uh, the bus goes right by here so everyone riding the bus south will see it and all the pedestrian traffic here will see it.
we just found out, and so we were luckily in Seattle. Hi, are you related? Yes. She's your mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. She wanted to see her mom's painting. I'm so glad you're here. Captures her perfectly. Yep, there she is. There she is. I'm touched. It's just nice to be recognized. I'm 60, so thank you. <laughs> it's just been really exciting to see what she's done with this. I just really love, love the mural. I think it's so perfect because he rode the bus a lot. He didn't drive. Without these types of things, statues, murals, things that help us know who we are as a community, it would be a very boring place. Every, every other place would look the same. I don't know if he ever rode the bus, <laughs> so, but it's representative that he spent 95 years in Rainier Valley, so it makes sense. I hope they say, oh, it's the number seven. And then they look at the people and they think, who is that? and then they learn more about their community's history. I don't know where it's leading next. It's a journey, you know, we're, we're all on some kind of bus. I'm on mine. Check out Tina's mural on the north side of Columbia City Gallery in Columbia City and learn more about her art practice at tinagarrickalbro.com. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.